Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and welcome to our edition of Coffee with Ian. Mm, lovely coffee. Anyways, now what's been going on to, well not today, but in the last little while. So, uh, what's the big, I guess the biggest news of course is American Truck Simulator has come out, which is pretty darn awesome. I've been playing that a little bit on, uh, off camera I should say. Been really enjoying that. They did a good job in that game. Um, I did a live stream uh, on Saturday, no, Sunday, Sunday it would have been, on it, and the people seem to be interested in what's going on and how the game works and all that jazz, so it is very, very cool. So I'm really digging the game. I hope you are too. Uh, and also, they actually just released the multiplayer edition already as well. So I may have to uh, jump on that and uh, check that out and see how that goes. So. That's kind of crazy that they already have that uh, already out and ready to go. So I was actually talking to, talking to Landy the other day, and he was uh, he agreed to me, and he was kind of like, "Wow, it's out already too." So hey, it's cool, man. Whatever works, right? So that has been the, probably pretty the, the coolest news uh, as of late. Also, the other big news in terms of Farm Sim is that they announced when they're going to release the Homer DLC. Uh, that's March 10th, so it's like in a month, like 30 days from now, sort of thing. So, it comes with two vehicles. It comes with the Terra Dos, and which is like a sugar beet harvester, and it also comes with a vehicle where you can put different. It's like a hook lift kit, kind of. Um, that's why I'm going to describe it at least. So, it comes with two two vehicles. Uh, it's ten bucks. I don't know, ten bucks. I think it's American. I'm not sure what's going to be Canadian. Uh, if I had to guess, I'm going to say fifteen probably somewhere in that area. So, it's pretty neat. Um, I'm actually kind of. I'm kind of curious about, because I know there's been Terra Dos type uh, sugar beet harvesters in the past, and it's going to be interesting to see how they compare against the uh, the Giants made one. Um, the hook lift type scenario, the hook lift truck thing looks pretty neat actually. Um, it's kind of, I think it's going to be super expensive. There was another uh, pack that came out a while back that had a, it was like to buy the, it's the same sort of truck, but to buy it, it was like $135, $35,000 in game. So. People uh, rarely used it. What was that called? I totally forgot. It's not the Lintner kit. Or maybe it was. I don't know. Anyway, so those are the two vehicles that come in. So it's going to be kind of interesting. Uh, some people have been like, ah, two vehicles, it's a bit expensive. Other people have been like, I'm totally going to get it because I love sugar beets. Uh, whatever it happens to be. So that's the kind of the two uh, the two sides to that particular coin. So we'll see how that works out. But uh, it's been kind of cool to see the reactions thus far. So yeah, what else is big? Interesting and new, and new. Uh, farm sim. Land. That's the only big farm sim news that I've seen so far, and uh, most people have been jumping on the American Truck Simulator bandwagon uh, as of late, just because it's a pretty good game. So that's the reason why people have been jumping on it. Uh, I was sick. I'm still kind. I feel like I still feel a little groggy, but not as bad as I was about a week ago or so. So I'm feeling better, which is excellent. Um, hopefully, soon we'll be like 110 <laughs> percent. Hopefully. Uh, I guess the other big thing that it's happened as of late is uh, uh, in the Google Plus community we've been uh, playing around with logos and whatnot, and I've uh, been in talks with somebody who's going to make a logo for us and that is going to be pretty neat and uh, hopefully we'll have that on the channel within the next couple weeks or so so then you'll see my face change probably from uh, the carrots to something else in the near future so that's the other big thing that's kind of uh, going to happen in the near future as well so it's going to be pretty neat. Uh, the other thing I was thinking about is the maps I'm playing on. I may switch them up soon. Um, I haven't been that um, super into the maps as of late. Uh, Tungstorf's like the map I'm kind of enjoying, but Michigan and Georgia I kind of like phase in and out of. So I might take a look around to see if I can find something that really uh, piques my interest, but we'll see because I don't know. I haven't seen very many interesting new maps. I know there's a few. There's a new map called Graceland with the same kind of idea, so We'll have to see uh, what happens there. So I'm kind of curious about that as well. So we'll have to keep an eye out for something new. So that's the other thing. And uh, what else? I guess this is kind of the feeling I've been getting like I don't know why, but I feel like the channel is getting a bit stale, and I'm not sure the reason why. If you feel the same way, um, let me know what you think we should do in order to kind of uh, jazz it up a little bit. Because I don't know why I'm getting this feeling, but I just feel like it's uh, stagnating for some reason. So it's uh, it's kind of like going around in my mind a little bit and just kind of making me think about these things so I don't know when you're uh, <laughs> when you're like me I guess and you think about these things uh, 
often you kind of wonder, I'm like, well, what could be done in order to improve the situation? So, yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting. I don't know why. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, I've been thinking about a collaboration with somebody. I'm just not sure who yet. Um, and hopefully that will kind of um, reinvigorate the channel a little bit. But we'll have to see. Uh, so if you have any ideas about that, uh, please let me know. That'd be most appreciated. And uh, yeah, that's the other thing I kind of been thinking about a little bit. So that's part of the logo change a little bit. So hopefully that will uh, put some more juice in there and we'll have to go from there, I guess. So yeah, um, anything else? Like the American Truck Simulator is a big news, really. So anyways, I think I'm going to stop it there for the time being. So I think I have to blow my nose in a second. Um, my name is Ian Robson. I hope you enjoyed this coffee with Ian. And if you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I will catch you guys later.